guys molly from molly's artistry here again i just wanted to do a quick video like i had said on the silicone products that are out there and there are probably quite a few more than this but um i just wanted to go through them real quick so silicone is a type of uh, synthetic polymer that was created a long time ago and um, you'll hear the words silicone and you'll hear the words dimethicone um, and there are tons of other derivatives of silicone that are out there. So um, dimethicone is silicone that has two chemical groups added to it, two methyl groups, so CH3 groups, um, hence the dimethyl part added to the silicone, so dimethicone. Um, so here they all are. I started out using this because I actually had it um, in my bathroom at the time, believe it or not, because it, it's actually very good for hair as well. So that, let me see if it focuses, is coconut milk. Okay, so it is syrupy, very thick. The first ingredient in it is dimethicone, but it also has a lot of other um, ingredients in it. So this is the first one. This makes really good cells. I found that um, it makes larger cells. And so for me personally, with the paint um, mixture that I use, this tends to stretch out a little bit more than the other product that I'm using that I'll talk about. So this is kind of my second favorite. This is my second go-to. Um, this right here is a silicone lubricant. I got this at Home Depot and it comes, one, it's an aerosol, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to, um, to get into the cup. So really what, you know, is recommended is that you go outside in a well-ventilated area and you put the little spout in that's right here into the nozzle and then you can spray it into a container and it liquefies so that you can um, drop it into your paints because you don't need very much of any of these silicones in the paints at all to, to have the reaction that you're looking for. Um, a lot of the spray silicones come out as like a yellowish brown color and the smell of them is not very pleasing. So I tend to use this and I tend to use the WD-40 um, as lubricant in my cups to help the paint slide out better, not actually to create any cells. So what I do is I spray this in the cup and then I wipe the cup out and it just creates kind of like a gliding surface for the paint so that all the paint can drop out of the cups appropriately. So those are the first three products that are here. Let's get them a little bit closer to you. This one was fun to buy at the store, um, KY Jelly. It is the True Feel KY Jelly. The other KY Jellies do not have specifically dimethicone as their first ingredient. Um, this one, the only ingredient in it is dimethicone that's on the label here. If you look on a label, um, the, normally the first couple of things that are on the label are the main ingredients in the container. The rest of the stuff kind of are additives that you know, are in smaller degrees or portions. So if dimethicone or silicone is one of the first things you see in the label, then that's predominantly what makes up the, um, the liquid or constituent form for the most part. So KY Jelly, I actually like um, using this. When I was using it, it was a while ago, it is a little bit, um, it's kind of like medium thickness to it. Um, but my cells stretched out a little bit with that. So I, I didn't use this as, I don't use this as much. If I run out, I'll, I will use everything up. Um, but this one you can just buy at Walmart as well. So, so far you can buy this at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, almost any store. This is either at Walmart or Home Depot Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot Lowe's. Um, I found this at, at Home Depot or Lowe's. This you can get almost anywhere, any, you know, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart. The treadmill silicone oil, sorry, I'm sorry, the three-in-one oil. Um, I, I bought this after I ran out of my first bottle of this um, 
back in like April uh, when I was experimenting and I don't care for this one as much. This one is very thin silicone. Um, it's hard to kind of squirt out of this and I personally, not to say that you know everybody else doesn't get great cells, maybe it's just my mixture that I'm using with this. Um, the cells just don't hold their shape very well. Um, it is a little bit easier to clean off because it's a thinner um, silicone, but um, not my personal favorite. This is what I've been using. You can see my bottle here. I don't know if you can see. So I've only got, I've used like maybe a third of this bottle, maybe half of this bottle. This one is a little bit thicker silicone as well. You can order this off Amazon. I've had a hard time finding it in Walmarts or, ooh, I've got some on my hands, in Walmart um, or other stores, but you can definitely find it on Amazon. It's like, I think like $12 or something like that to order it on Amazon. Um, and this is uh, silicone by itself. And I really like the shape of the cells that it, creates for me. Um, with this being said, you don't have to use silicone at all. Um, you can have get cells and lacing just using uh, paint and water. Um, you can get cells and lacing from using Floetrol paint and water. Uh, but if you really want some kind of crazy looking cells or you know just want to experiment and something funky, then you can use this. Again, hasn't been used forever, so adding this to your paints, nobody truly knows the longevity of um, the archival qualities of the paintings that are coming out. Again, who am I to argue? I use it myself. I'm not saying use it or don't use it. I just wanted to show you what products that I have available. Um, I'm trying to think if there are any other products. There is pure dimethicone that you can purchase that are in like little, I don't know the brands of them, but if you just uh, Google uh, dimethicone or silicone on Amazon, there are tons of products that are out there. So um, if you guys have used something else, please comment below as well and let me know. Um, pricing is about uh, $5 for coconut serum. Like I said, $12 for the treadmill silicone. Three in one silicone was like three or four dollars. KY Jelly was eleven dollars. This silicone I think was three fifty. And this little tiny one was I think a dollar of the WD40 at Walmart. So variations in pricing as well. If you um you know, aren't going to be able to spend a lot of money at the beginning, then I would maybe go with one of the cheaper ones and see what happens with the effects of your cells. If you do use silicone on your painting, make sure you clean your painting afterwards. Um, if you're going to be putting some type, because it will leave a greasy residue on the top, don't worry, you can get rid of it, and there are tons of methods out there for that as well. Um, and maybe this weekend, I, I do have to varnish a lot of paintings, so maybe I'll post one of my um, videos on how I clean my paintings and how I varnish my paintings. Um, but make sure you clean it off in some way. You can wipe it off, you can put cornstarch or flour to soak it up, you can wash with Dawn or um, some type of soap, um, but you need to make sure that your paintings have fully cured at that point. Um, a lot of people, you know, don't use silicone at all and so they don't necessarily wait as long to um, varnish their paintings. Nobody says you have to varnish a painting at all actually, um, but the actual cure time for it um, they say is three to four weeks. Um, that is with adding in kind of these extenders, um, they lengthen the drying process. Some people say if you stick your fingernail in a painting and it doesn't make an indention, then it's dry, but I don't really want to stick my finger in my painting just in case it's not dry. Um, anywho, so these are the products and I hope that you guys can see them all and that they're not super blurry. And if you have any comments or questions, Feel free to let me know. 
Um, you can find me at Molly Molly's Artistry Six on Instagram. You can find me on um, Facebook.com slash Mollistry, M-O-L-L-I-S-T-R-Y. Um, and hope this was helpful to you. So see you later, guys. Good night.